All right, it's time now to get to maybe one of the craziest endings we will see all year long. Let's try to break it down for you. You will see coming up here in the white, St. Stevens. They are ahead by one. You can see Bunker Hill's coach on the bottom of the screen telling his defense to get off the field. There's 31 seconds left to go in the game. So St. Stevens QB, Travis Connor decides, I'm going to take the snap. I'll run it down the field. And you can see his coach running along with him. He's yelling to, for him to stop at the one yard line so the game can run out. But that's not what happens. You will see Bunker Hill, a defender coming in to get the QB. And finally, the quarterback gets into the end zone. So they are now up seven. Crazy, Chris. This is just, <laughs> we'll, get to, we'll get to it more. You can see the ref here throwing up the touchdown. They're going to go for the PAT, and they get it. So now Bunker Hill is down eight. Then this happens, a long pass. It ends up being a, a touchdown. You can see the crowd going crazy. The press box is a little bit in the way. Now they're gonna go for two and the tie. And no, they didn't get it. But just crazy mm. stuff happening in that game. We're gonna bring in our football editor, Steve Stewak to break it down a little bit better, maybe paint a better picture, because you talked to both coaches. Steve, what'd they have to say about this crazy game? This was really a bizarre finish, guys. Frankly, I've never heard of anything like it on the high school level. I talked to the Bunker Hill head coach, Travis Connor, and what he told me is, look, I wanted to give our guys a chance. Believe it or not, this exact sequence took place the day before when these two teams met for a JV contest. So Travis Conner called his guys off the field hoping that St. Stevens would score and they would get another shot. He said, you gotta give them a chance. And obviously, as we saw, Bunker Hill did get another chance and came so close to tying the game. St. Stevens head coach Wayne Hicks told me, I almost got out coached. Said he's never seen anything like it in his 28 years of coaching, allowing the team to march down the field like that. It's a wild video, a crazy ending, and you know you know it's football season when you're seeing uh, seeing crazy videos like this on a Friday night. But certainly uh, something that neither coach had ever been a part of, and you know kind of kind of joked about it afterwards, saying that you know Bunker Hill coach almost almost pulled a fast one on me. <laughs> and Chris, we've been talking about this all morning yeah. and all day trying to figure it out. And I know you you always kind of brought up the point, why don't they just take a knee? But it's high school. It's not that I, it's not that easy. I know it's high school. I understand it. But it doesn't matter if it's a first down and ten or if you're gonna knee it anyways, so why even care about the defense? That's that's my point. It's like right. if I'm gonna knee it, I'm gonna knee it if there's a defense there or not. If I need a first down to make sure that I get four more plays to take off the time, why not I just go get the first down and knee it? I, I just don't understand how it even got to the point of running up and trying to tackle a guy into the end zone to get another chance to score like it well the coach must have known we would have shown it all and it's a lot more fun that way <laughs> yes, and i think the is. coach was saying take a knee at the one yeah it didn't work out so well but hey yep. saint stephen still pulled out the win hey, and keep watching if you guys don't understand it either i mean yep. we will be having it up online right after the show and just continue to watch it because it's a mind-boggling and and yep. just that they even came back to score at the end of the game yeah. to give themselves a chance for two was uh, even Crazy. more remarkable 